Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Estimation 2. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn 1. The units of mass and weight and their derivations. 2. The unit of volume and its derivations. 3. Calculations involving estimations of weight and volume. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Units of mass and weight. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in a body. And it is represented using the symbol M. Weight is the measure of the amount of force acting on a mass. And it is represented using the symbol W. Mass is the same no matter where you go in the universe, but weight, on the other hand, changes from place to place. The SI unit of mass is kilograms. Though we usually talk about weight in kilograms, the SI unit of weight is newtons, the units of force. Other derivations of the unit of mass include 1 decagram equals 10 grams. 1 hectogram equals 100 grams. 1 kilogram equals 1000 grams. 1 metric ton equals 1000 kilograms. 1 centigram equals 0.01 grams. 1 milligram equals 0.001 grams. Now, let's see some calculations involving estimation of weight. If 1 kilogram of meat costs 5 nera, 70 kobo. Estimate the cost of meat, which weighs 92 kilograms. Solution. Following the general rule of estimation, let 5 nera, 70 kobo, be estimated to 6 nera. Let 92 kilograms be estimated to 90 kilograms. Let's see the estimated calculation. If 1 kilogram equals 6 nera, then 90 kilograms equals 90 times 6. This gives us an estimated value of 540 nera. Let's see the actual calculation. 1 kilogram equals 5 nera. 70 kobo 92 kilograms equals 92 times 5 nera 70 kobo this gives us an actual value of 524 nera 40 kobo the estimated cost of 92 kilograms equals 540 nera 0 kobo while the actual cost of 92 kilograms equals 524 nera, 40 kobo. That's a very good guess. Units of volume. Volume is the amount of space in a container or any given object. The SI unit of volume is cubic meters. And it is derived from the unit of length. Other derivations of the unit of volume include 1,000 cubic millimeters equals 1 cubic centimeter. 1,000 cubic centimeters equals 1 cubic decimeter. 1,000 cubic decimeters equals 1 cubic meter. And 1 million cubic centimeters equals 1 cubic meter. Other conversions include 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. 1 liter equals 1,000 cubic centimeters. Note that the formula for finding the volume of any given object equals length times width times height. Now, let's see some calculations involving estimation of volume. Calculate the volume of a container 
which is 182 centimeters long, 59 centimeters wide, and 41 centimeters high. Solution Note that, length is 182 centimeters. Width is 59 centimeters. And, height is 41 centimeters. Now, following the general rule of estimation, let 182 centimeters be estimated to 180 centimeters. Let 59 centimeters be estimated to 60 centimeters. And, let 41 centimeters be estimated to 40 centimeters. Remember that, volume equals length times width times height. Now, let's say the estimated calculation. 180 centimeters times 60 centimeters times 40 centimeters. This gives us an estimated value of 432,000 centimeter cubed. Let's see the actual calculation. 182 centimeters times 59 centimeters times 41 centimeters. This gives us an actual value of 440,258 centimeters cubed. Comparing the two answers, we can say that the estimate is a good guide. That's very good. Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The units of mass and weight, and their derivations. 2. The unit of volume, and its derivations. 3. How to calculate estimations, involving weights, and volumes. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.